Right then, let's have a look. What have we got to do today? Uh, to do list, to do list. Hmm, interesting. Hello? Is that the marina? I'd like to buy a boat. Yep, yeah, I'll take it. Seems simple enough. Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and my goodness me, two years after I left Narrowboat Tilly, I cannot believe and I cannot tell you how happy I am to be about to say these words, but welcome to my new humble Narrowboat home, Narrowboat Abel's Ark. I apologise that I'm losing my voice, this is just a very quick, very quick sneak peek almost, and well... I cannot tell you how good it is to be back on the canals, honestly. It's, I'm almost glad that my voice is a bit raspy because it's hiding the ludicrous emotion that would be pouring out in my tone of voice otherwise. What can I say? It's, it's so good to be back, honestly. At some point, I will post a proper full guided tour in-depth look at this boat as one single video so we can have a proper look at how it was exactly at this moment that I purchased Abel's Ark and then compare it over the next few months as I have more work done to it, change the furniture, get the paintwork done, put a new oven in the kitchen, all these sort of odd jobs that need to be sorted on board. And we'll be able to compare what the boat looks like in, say, two or three months' time from now compared to how it is now that I've bought it. But I just wanted to give you a very quick update because I am absolutely over the moon, my friends. As I say, there's plenty of little odd jobs to do here and there and little bits of uh, just just general tidying up I suppose but I'll just flip the camera around this I just wanted to show you so we've got full double bed here and what have you and then I absolutely love this little feature of having your doors open up from your bedroom and then up to a proper full fully waterproof covered area at the front and again just your, your classic little tiny narrowboat double doors here but this I can imagine well in the sun that I've been on here for the last couple of days um over the last week basically just coming out doing some measurements and stuff before I move on officially which will be imminent it could even be before you even see this video I could be officially living on here but when it's sunny as the sun's just coming out now this is absolutely beautiful but I can equally imagine that lying in bed and waking up and then opening these doors and having the uh, rain and the general sort of bad weather conditions all rattling around the front of the boat as well and then being like cosy tucked up here in bed I can imagine that's going to be quite nice too um so yeah as I say there's so much to so much to talk about so much that's happened over the last couple of weeks and as many of you know I've um, almost almost entirely retired from YouTube to a certain extent over the last few months uh, leading up to buying a boat and coming back to the canals but if you're really curious to see my previous boat life on board Narrowboat Tilly, then please do consider checking out my old videos. And also, of course, my friends, don't think you were going to get away without a book plug. Feel free to read all about my life. Again, now this title, My Narrowboat Life from Beginning to End, of my paperback collection of some of my shorter Kindle books about life on Narrowboat Tilly, it definitely needs a question mark on the end of From Beginning to End as well. That was my first narrowboat life, I suppose, from beginning to end. So check that out. Links in the description, available as a paperback and for the Kindle. Sell out, sell out as quick as I can. Um, but before we go, I do want to just show you up here. Again, we've got a really substantial, proper big cratch cover on the back. So again, this is so nice being completely covered over. We've got built-in seating and that. Just in case of giving it a tidy up, paintwork and everything. And uh, and if we have ourselves a look down here, you can see this is a, a 45 foot boat. So my old boat, narrowboat Tilly at 30 foot, the entirety of Tilly would fit on the inside part of this boat. So yeah, again, just so happy. Cannot tell you how good it is to just be back on board. 
and well back on board any boat really so yeah lots of work to be done and you will hopefully uh, see a lot more of me very soon but yeah all all systems are go my friends uh, check the links in the description feel free to add me all over the internet facebook and twitter and all that sort of stuff if we pan around so this is something again that i'm looking forward to getting the fire going it obviously mm. needs a needs a clean to say the least but again it's just going to be so nice having a proper fire with the little window and the sparks of orange flashing across oh cannot wait cannot wait first time i've had a proper fire on a boat because the boat on narrowboat tilly the boat the fire on narrowboat tilly was a, a homemade one that the previous owners had put together mm. so it's nice having a real proper fire um oh yeah i'm already rambling we're about five minutes into boat life and i've already somehow managed to record 10 minutes of footage um but yeah i hope you'll enjoy the things that i've got lined up and the further adventures of dan brown on the canals till the next time have an absolutely fantastic day Please do check the links in the description. Please do, now that I've just spent a lot of money on this boat. Really, if ever there was a time to check out my books, please do check them out now. But ultimately, till the next time, my friends, have an absolutely fantastic day. And, well, I, I just cannot wait to see how this all unfolds. And I hope that you'll join me for the ride. Until the next time, of course, my friends, keep it interesting, keep it boatworthy. And farewell.